Our CES 2019 coverage is made possible by Super O, Republic of Gamers, Arosi, EK, and Patriot. Hey everyone, I'm Andy Ruffell from eTechnics.com and at CES 2019, Patriot were keen to show off a pretty innovative little device. We're talking about an SSD with RGB included directly onto the PCB. They're calling it the VPR100. Now what it essentially has is 13 RGB LEDs situated at the top and bottom of the drive and built directly onto that PCB. No need for an RGB heat spreader like we've seen before from the likes of ADATA with their XPG Storm. That means there's no need for extra cables and it just looks so much better. So Patriot really have innovated with this and uh, it's really nice to see that they're not just kind of stepping back. They are actually trying to break the mold with things. So while the RGB LEDs are situated on the PCB, it still does have a heat spreader for obviously dissipating heat, but they've actually got it so that the RGB LEDs shine directly through the heat spreader itself and it does look pretty cool. Now the lighting effects can all be controlled by motherboard manufacturer software, but if you haven't got a motherboard manufacturer that is on the list of kind of supported uh, brands, then Patriot will have their own software as well. Now there's no kind of word on availability just yet, but we are hoping it will be very, very soon. All of the lighting effects can be controlled through your motherboard manufacturer's software, but if there is a motherboard manufacturer that isn't supported, then Patriot will have their very own software. Now there's no word on availability or pricing just yet, but let's talk about some of the specifications. So to start with capacity wise, it comes in capacities up to one terabyte. Sadly, it can't actually come in any more than that due to the fact that the RGB LEDs on there do take up quite a lot of space. It runs on the PCI Gen 3x4 platform and uses the Fizen E12 controller, which means it's capable of speeds of up to 3,100 megabytes a second read and 3,000 megabytes per second write. And uh, as you can see, they actually wanted to show off how it looked in some systems. So they had it inside an Intel Nook as well as a fully fledged gaming system. And I'm sure you agree with me, it looks really, really good. For those of you not wanting RGB, they have essentially the same drive, but ever so slightly better performance. So what we have is the VPN 100 instead of the VPR 100. Now, due to it having zero LEDs on it, it means that the capacity can actually go up to two terabyte in size. Again, it uses the same Fizen E12 controller, but the speeds are slightly better with speeds of 3,450 megabytes per second read and 3,000 megabytes per uh, second write. Again, there's no word on pricing or availability just yet, but they did actually both the VPR 100 and the VPN 100 both look, well, kind of complete. I guess really they're just trying to get the stability of the Fizen E12 controller up to where it needs to be so that they can get peak performance for sustained amounts of time. As we all know, Patriot are all about reliability and stability. Now other products that they had on show was their new memory, which is the Viper Steel. This comes in capacities of eight gig and 16 gig kits, ranging from 3000 megahertz all the way up to 4400 megahertz and beyond if you want to overclock. Now this is their latest memory, which is aimed primarily at Intel's high-end platform, but it does work and has been tested on both Intel and AMD. It incorporates the Viper design, but with zero RGB and more of a kind of premium look. The timings are 19, 19, 1939. And like I say, this is currently available right now. So be sure to check out your kind of retailers uh, close by to you uh, for some pricing. And uh, a Dickie Bird has actually told me that the price of DRAM should be going down very, very soon, probably by the end of this month. So that might be worth waiting for as well. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, let us know which one of the two SSDs you prefer, the one with RGB or the slightly faster, higher capacity VPN 100 with no RGB. I mean, where does RGB go from here? We've now got it on SSD drives, but I'll be honest, I think this looks pretty good. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Remember to check out all the rest of our CES 2019 coverage, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later. Bye bye. Oh. Hey everyone, I'm Andy Raffel from eTechnics.com and while we're at sit with the